when life when life gets you down, there's always one thing you can look forward to. What's that? Space Jam. Every year. For the Christmas Eve. The low, low <laughs> price of your soul. For the low, low price. Joining the goddamn Discord watching Space Jam. I gotta we, watch Space Jam. <laughs> we watched... We had a two-hour intermission this year. Uh, where... Um, I didn't know if we were watching two because this year was so hectic. It was planned last minute. Yes, I remember that. And I, <laughs> I believe we weren't watching two. So I was like, "All right, well, I'll just put on the after movie." And we watched all of FNAF. <laughs> and then, and then the other person who runs Space Jam, uh, it was just like, "All right, let's put on two. And it's like. Oh my god. It, like, it was actually endurance testing for me to watch three movies back to back. So, so I don't even like watching one movie in one sitting. Unless it's Space Jam. I can always do Space Jam 1. Space Jam 2 is just a flex. And even as a Space Jam lover, I can see that. It's just a Warner Brothers flex. So, two things. Do you want to hear a funny story about watching three movies at once? Sure. Or rather in a row? So, um, this is going to date, date it quite heavily, but me and a friend from um, when I worked at the movie theaters, this was before I worked there, we watched Prometheus, um, Rock of Ages, and Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter all in the same day, right? Yeah. Um, we didn't leave till like I don't even remember what time we got there, but we got there before lunchtime. I want to say it was like nine thirty or something, and we didn't leave till maybe almost seven. So we almost spent you know twelve hours at the movie theaters. And uh, for anyone that cares, my personal favorite of those three is Abe Lincoln's Vampire Hunter. Although I love Rock of Ages for a different reason. Uh, fuck Prometheus. I hope that I'm glad that they're rebooting it again. And then the second funny thing that I was going to say about movies is I remember when Space Jam came out and we had it on VHS. And then when I heard that there was a Space Jam 2, I was like, I'm never going to watch it because they're not going to be as good as Space Jam 1. And then I looked into the reviews. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Space Jam 1 is the superior bullshit movie. I mean... I think... I still think the funniest part of Space Jam 2 is that they were cast his family. <laughs> I love... That cracks me up. Because either now there's a confusion where people think holy shit, LeBron James is your dad. And the real children of LeBron James can't convince them, anyone, that LeBron James is their dad now. I love, I love movies. Movies are such a freaking... Yeah. Dude, I'm also 100% in the, in like the conspiracy theory that Half of Space Jam fucking 2 is animated because, my god, LeBron, uh, he plays basketball, right? He does, yes. Um, he's no actor. No, no, he's not. You know, they knew Michael Jordan had experience in acting because he acted like he should play baseball <laughs> really well. Um, <laughs> he got away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Yeah, yeah exactly. So they they knew Michael Jordan was a, was an actor. He was a really funny guy too. <laughs> I actually really like Michael Jordan, even though I know he's a complete fool behind the scenes. Yeah, he's also bald. <laughs> yes, he is bald. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that got me, but. <laughs> Um, so, you know, just something to consider. 
Yeah, that is a very big consideration. But yeah. But they also did give Wily e. Coyote the most fuckable I have ever seen him. Uh literally ever. So that's good. I don't know how to take that information. <laughs> I don't even know what movie. It was like the Witness Me movie. That like Warner Brothers owns, I guess. Oh, the Wile E. Coyote versus Acme or whatever that is like causing all of the... Uh... No, 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 no. Um, that's fucking ridiculous that they made the entire movie and they were just going to scrap it. Oh, that's yeah. entirely just like... Welcome to Batgirl. But uh, no, Space Jam 2 is just a whole bunch of crossovers. Like... Granny and uh, Little Mouse Guy are in a. Uh... Wow, now I can't think of the movie. Uh, the the one that everyone only knows the bullet dodging scene from. One times like slowed down. Or Matrix. Matrix, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, like Daffy Duck's like trying to become a superhero, so he just stole the identity and rigged his own event that, or like uh, that he needs to save and then he can't do it <laughs> that sounds about right <laughs> and Wily e. Coyote is in this like fucking I don't even like know but uh there's like a bunch of dirt and they all look like bandit people essentially almost my brain immediately went to the good the bad the ugly but I don't think that's uh, it uh, and then he like fucking sprays breath fucking shit into his mouth, smiles, and holds up a sign that says "Witness me." <laughs> and then they run his ass over. But he's like really fucking hot for like the short time that he's in that outfit. And I was like, dude, I'm not looking to spend money on multiverses. But one, if Wiley e. Coyote gets in, that's my main. Two, if they make that a skin, I will actually spend money on this game. And then Multiverse is closed its servers, and uh, hasn't been back. So, yikes! It should be back this year, and I'm excited to play it again if it is. If it is, we're gonna have to play. They have a good product on their hand, but uh, yeah, no, it should not have released like that. And I will call it an official release because they're like, yeah, it's early access, but that is not how it is. It was treated. No. When you have a whole ass battle pass and like all this shit. The moment a battle pass gets implemented, I immediately say that is a completed and... game. Yeah, no, you. The moment I see any battle pass is uh, immediate. It's just like, yep. I think we'll have ingots. Also, you want to hear something interesting that I find that I found out? Yeah, hit me. So, As I'm dramatically walking toward the furnace. <laughs> um, <laughs> apparently, uh, China has like banned a bunch of like in-game gambling. Yes. Which a lot of people are losing their mind over because they're just like, oh no, microtransactions are are gonna die and battle passes are gonna die and and like a lot of people are upset. I'm just like, how is this a bad thing? This is ob um, objectively a decent, good thing. What, what, what's, what's interesting is, I think, literally, um, I want to say the year of war works, because you can't even use Twitch points to gamble if you're from Europe, I believe. I actually don't know. I can ask a couple people that I know over there. I'll have to... It, but, like, literally, like, gambling fake points is region locked. I know that's a fact. I don't know if it's Europe. But, like, the little points you get from watching that don't do anything but maybe play a fart noise on stream. Yes. For most streamers, I've noticed. Um, which, I get it. I'd have a fart noise. <laughs> uh... I would have a fart noise, but like, which one you got would be RNG, you know what I mean? Yes, it's roll the dice. Although I was looking into like, uh, what- The better your fart, the more I notice. Uh, the better- how squishy it is. 
Yeah. How wet and moist it is. Oh, God. Can I force you to work for the night? It depends. Some do, some don't. Oh, what the fuck? They're just awake. Don't graze. You have a job to do. Don't graze! Come here. Who are you talking I, I can't lift the little flame ball. There we go. Jesus. I have 83 ingots ready over here. Hell yeah. Well, not ready, I should say, because someone is fucking grazing instead of doing their job. There's just dead mons over here. I'm assuming the syndicate has been busy. I don't know. There's dead syndicate over here, too. Something has happened over here. There's been a war that I was not aware of. Yeah, like... I don't know how they had, like, a... A war behind my back, but, uh, they did. Oh, lord, they did. Also, I apologize for the riveting gameplay of me, uh, just sitting here bit cooking baked berries for three years. Fine. After this I know, if anyone's watching us, they're, they're all tabbed during this series sometimes. Yeah. And that's fine, I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. But stop. Stop. I know what you're doing in that other tab, <laughs> and you better fucking quit it. Right now. Cease your tomfoolery. I will say yeah, that. Put it, uh... put it away. Yeah. Be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> I but no, dude, I, I'm totally fine with this being like a. The chill I series. To this in the background yeah. Series. This is definitely a very Game Grumps playthrough where we just kind of shoot the shit and. <laughs> Digimon does this a lot too, where it's just like, it's, it, either you're like, what? Explain this, and it won't. You know, like, OG Digimon, <laughs> you watch that again nowadays, now that you're not a kid, and you realize, yeah, you just have to accept some shit, bro. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't watched OG Digimon probably. Um, let's see. I want to say the last time I watched OD Digimon, um, it was probably <laughs> when the, oh, the, the very <laughs> first movie came out. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to rewatch Digimon. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anaconda. <laughs> what, what the fuck is, what, what the fuck was her name that made a divorce happen? Amanda Anaconda or whatever? Yes. Yeah, she caused a divorce. I did. there, there's a green text about how, like, uh, like, the family was, like, already in shambles. And they went to, like, watch the Digimon movie because he was a huge Digimon fan. He was finally, like, they were having, like, a happy moment all together. And then, uh, then that short blade yep. <laughs> before the movie... And it's not short at all. So they thought they went to the wrong movie. He started crying because, like, they're like he he thought he was gonna watch the Digimon movie, and then whatever the fuck that was was happening. I'm gonna. <laughs> and, and then the parents like left the movie theater and, and like had a huge fight and finally got divorced. <laughs> I remember hearing about that. Now that you say it, so um. <laughs> that bitch broke made my parents out. <laughs> <laughs> pick up the pick up your your little feather thing right here on the... Oh, you made this for me? I did. Thank you. I'm gonna make myself a parachute so I can actually follow you. But, uh, so I remember watching Digimon the movie in the theaters. Right. And that was the last time I watched really any Digimon. Where? I mean, I, I remember watching Digimon Frontier little bits and pieces i remember watching the one with uh Golemon, i think his name is the red guy the one where you yeah, man. that one yes yes i remember watching that one and everyone I... loves tamers <laughs> is that what it's called tamers mm -hmm. all right yep let's also make some of these oh all right well i'll help you too uh, 
I remember watching some of Tamers, not a whole lot. I don't, I don't, I'm gonna be real with you. The second gen, I don't know if I ever watched because I didn't like the main character. I don't remember his name. The guy that was supposed to be uh, tied to one away. Yeah, Davis. Yes, I hated Davis. I was like, fuck this shit. Uh, Davis is a character. Uh, he is. So, for Gen 2 of Digimon, are we counting TK and Kari? Because they are, they are in 1, but they're grown up in 2, slightly, to be, like, tied with Davis, Yoli, and, um... What does the Wikipedia consider... They are definitely a main cast. Yes. 100%. But I'm asking, because... Like, TK and Kari were already huge in Gen 1 of Digimon. And then A2 comes around, and they're huge again. Not as huge, to be honest. But pretty fucking decently big, and they're definitely part of the main characters. So, according to the wiki... Now, I'm asking you, am I also putting them in a rating? Because if I'm putting new characters in a rating, Davis is the second best one. <laughs> I... I'm glad that I never watched it then. I can't stand Davis. I just Davis gets better. He's just a fucking idiot and a bit of a simp. I just can't. I I have a rule when it comes to TV shows, both anime and general, is you get three episodes before I'm just like I'm out. And if you can't imp impress me in three episodes, I am gonna spend two seasons waiting for him to get better. And I've had this argument with many people because it's like it gets better. I was like, I'm not spending two seasons before they eventually get better. Oh yeah, I get that. To be fair, you can't spend two seasons waiting for him to get better. I'm also making you better armor, by the way. But yes, although it, it happens shortly, like a little bit in, because because each season of Digimon only gets around 50 eps. Yeah. Um. So like shit has to go a little fast. Thank you, by the way. Uh -huh. Um. You look so slutty in this. Also, I really <laughs> love your arms. I, I know I've said that before, but I just wanna. <laughs> Thank you. I just wanna go I've on record. Have the moose. Um. <laughs> Them steroids <laughs> really kicking heavy. But. Um. Yoli, who is the new girl, kind of stays just as annoying there's a new the one? entire time. Yeah, Yoli. Yoli's the new girl in A2. I didn't and know there was a new one. They like. You know, you know Mimi from A1. I do. Right, and how she's like kind of annoying for like almost all of it. Yeah. And even her, like, redemption is kind of weak, because she goes back on it rather easily. <laughs> right? Right. As she gets her, like, crest, and then, like, later in the series ends up becoming a princess by blackmail. Because, you know, she's so generous or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't see an issue. Yes, go on. Yeah, like, okay. So, yeah, they basically made another Mimi, but not exactly... But enough where literally Yo Lee starts to simp for Mimi. Oh lord. A and I mean like, of course it's just, oh, I want to be best friends, and it's just like, no, this is like, all, like lesbian level. Like if, if whoever the fuck dubs this could say it, th they'd say the word fuck. <laughs> 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 so, um, and then, uh, fuck, what is, what is the, the little, little kid's name now? It's fucking slipping my mind. Um, it it's like a, it's like, I can't think of the little kid's name at the moment. While you're thinking. PK and Kari were a thing, right? 
Like... Yes, yes, TK and Kari are very important in Adventure 1, and still important in Adventure 2, but less so. Because TK and Kari... By the way, uh, spoilers, fuck, um, huge important in Adventure 1. <laughs> yeah? And then, um... <laughs> Oh, real fast. Did you make yourself a crossbow or not? I am waiting for our slave right. to... Um... <laughs> okay. Well, I, I just want to make sure, because I'm, I'm working on getting us enough uh, iron to make us uh, two crossbows. But the reason I was saying that, because yeah. I was trying to remember, because TK and Kari were a ship, and then Ty mm -hmm. and Sora were the other ship, right? Mm. Are you saying ship or, like canonical they're kind of together as close to being in a relationship as you can get in a cartoon kids show okay <laughs> so um, then i would call kari and tk a ship but ty and sora were in an actual relationship between the events of a1 and a2 because in a2 ty is actually trying to fix said relationship okay so i know for uh, I, I remember that there was a uh, a lot of people would either quote unquote ship i'm using ship as quotation marks here mm -hmm. uh ty and sora or uh, tk's older brother and sora yeah they both actually like sora okay. like like that's like just actually I, a contention point. i'm gonna be honest with you i don't remember much of digimon except uh, figments of the movie i have shown so many people a1 and A2, I could probably recite <laughs> scripts for you. Like, Well, let's put it this way. I watched mm -hmm. Digimon and Pokemon when they were live on TV. Right. So, like, I was, the, I was there at the dark times. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, Pokemon, I will, when it comes to Pokemon versus Digimon, Digimon mm -hmm. is vastly superior in story, characterization, and the follow-through. But Pokemon Correct. is more fun. Yes, I'll say that because Pokemon's way more lighthearted for the anime, um, except the Japanese version. But we don't get that. But, but um, I kind of like that Digimon kind of fucking headed on tackled some rough things, because the whole thing, like with Matt, his whole fucking problem through A one is that he tries to like baby TK as TK is like kind of growing up and. Matt refuses to this weird fucking land, and Matt has to come to the fact that like, homie, he's gonna grow up, and I get that, and, and that like goes into like divorce and depression and shit, and like it dives into some deep topics. There was of like self doubt and like a lot of things like actual kids are gonna have to grow up with in their teens, you know? Yeah. And, there was one thing that I I wish Pokemon would have stuck through, but they never did. Mm -hmm. Is I know that a lot of people make fun of Ash for being bad, because I mean subjectively, if you look at his credentials, he is really bad until the later seasons. But like a lot of the things that he dealt with, like learning to not be an asshole, like you know treat others the way you want to be treated, like treat. Anim you know, animals have feelings and stuff like that, and they shouldn't just be used as pawns and shit. It's like he learned that, and then they've rebooted him s seven, eight times till yeah. he won the whatever he won recently. Alola. Yeah. So it's just like. Well, he won Alola yes. Elite Four, and then everyone knows in journeys he fucking becomes like the champion of the world, and then. Now they throw him aside because, well, you, what more can you do with that character? Yes. To be honest with <laughs> you, I think he should have been retired years ago, but that's beyond the point. Beyond. Uh, but it's just like, I wish they would have stuck with it because it would have been very interesting to see how Ash would have handled the same situation, but with a different viewpoint than what he had. And that's mm -hmm. something that I think Digimon did so much better is they made you learn something and then the same situation would arise, so you do something differently because you have more information and you're older. And it's... And Go on. That, that's exactly my problem with some characters in Digimon is because you're mostly correct, right? Right. But, but like I said, Mimi straight fucking didn't do that. And... And... <laughs> Cody. Cody's the little fucking kid. 
he Cody starts off like as a questioning kid and like I don't know I don't think he's supposed to seem annoying, right? Right. He's like kind of like almost an Izzy, but like not quite uh, as you know. Also, real fast, do you think he'd come over to the the uh? All right, fair enough. That not that hoot guy was just kind of like bouncing, gyrating yeah. into Foxfire, then he just. Yeah. He's being an asshole and he walked off. Yeah. Fucking dick. <laughs> um, Sorry, continue. But, um. Uh, yeah, like, Mimi didn't do that. <laughs> You're so right, where it's just like, man, these characters grew the fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and Mimi, Mimi oh, shows God. it in A2, but not before A2 at all. What do you want, my dude? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway. Oh, Tombat ate some baked berries. Yeah, sorry. This. Oh, he is glitched and eating a fuck ton of baked berries. <laughs> no. No, he stopped, he stopped. Don't... But like... Come on, man. <laughs> Also, after your your um your topic with Mimi, I I want to get into I want to get into some fanboy territory and piss some people off with Dragon Ball. Do it, do it right now. I was this inst I was waiting for you to finish so I didn't interrupt you again. No, 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 no. no. I'm just saying like that exact point. Um, is why Davis is the second best character in A2 because it kind of doesn't happen that much with Yo Lee at all. And then Cody goes backwards. Cody, like, learns a lesson and then unlearns it for the next five episodes. And then, like... <laughs> and then he, like, just struggles with this question he already came to terms with for another ten. When Cody could have been such a good character. But... Uh, Ken is the best character of A2, and I stand by that, because he is the epitome of learning. He he is the antagonist at the start. He's the Digimon Emperor. Oh, I know him. And then he, he is genuinely one of the best characters. Because, like, A2, like, Digimon is kind of just shit happening around them, and they're getting pulled into it. They're, like, destined to get pulled into it. Right. But shit is happening to Ken. Like, it is personal. <laughs> and I kind of love it. Like, all of Ken's problems are, like, very personal. Like, <laughs> it is an attack. And it's such a spin on, like, a character of the group that, like, no one else has. Like, the like the Digimon Dest- The Digi Destin kind of, like, were, like, thrown into the world, and then shit happens around them for a while, and then they realize they have a job to do. Right? Right. Ken is like fucking. Oh, uh, I'm evil. And then <laughs> when that stops, the evil doesn't stop. And now it happens directly to Ken. And it's like, yeah, you still did all of this work for us. And we're just going to try to kill you with this, actually. We're going to use exactly what you did for us to absolutely murder you in cold blood. Uh, I can. If you find a space for that, we can. Oh man. You gonna do some crossbow action? I'm gonna do nails first. I'm gonna get a couple more nails and then I think we're good. Alright. I think we both get crossbows finally. Hell yeah, All right. brother. There's Dragon Ball time. <laughs> I, are you ready for my Yeah. Oh, I just talked to you about Digimon for fucking ent entire episode. <laughs> Look man, I wish Talk I could Talk to me about Dragon Ball for an episode. <laughs> Oh, I could do more than an episode. You know this. <laughs> oh, yes. Damn. Hit, hit me. This is a chill series. Yeah. So, I, when, I, first I'm going to give you some ground, because I don't know how much of, uh, of my Dragon Ball knowledge you know, but I'm going to start this off with the funny, and then mm -hmm. it'll uh, slowly build up to my big <laughs> rant. And I'm also going to do a little spoiler. So me and my friend are working on a podcast and I need to edit them and all that stuff. But 
that's besides the point. I kind of go into talking about how I got into Dragon Ball in one of the episodes. So, uh, the long, the Too Long Didn't Read version, when I was seven, uh, I remember watching it at my great grandparents' house, but it was the Spanish dub. So I watched the very first time I ever saw Dragon Ball was the Spanish dub. And it was Goku and Piccolo versus Raditz very early on in the series. And then we didn't get, um, we didn't get Dragon Ball until after Z premiered because a lot of people didn't think that Z would do well. And I'm sure you, I've told you about the ocean dub and then Funimation's like, it's too expensive to ship people from Canada. So then we're going to move it in, in house. And that's how we got the voices that we know today. Mm -hmm. So we didn't get the voices that we know today till uh, I think it was around the Captain Ginyu arc. So we had um, we we watched Goku go from you know his superhero where he barely saves Vegeta or saves the Earth against Vegeta, to where he becomes you know Super Saiyan allied to good Nightmare to you bullshit, and then we have him with Cell. And he realizes a little too late that Gohan didn't want to fight. And he's like, I kind of did a big oopsies. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, <oop. laughs> yep. And then we get to Boo, where he's just like, I'm going to die for reals one day. And I need to make sure that when I do, that people will actually be able to take care of themselves when I'm dead. <laughs> and then I went back and I think it was about halfway through the cell arc, Dragon Ball started airing. And it's just like, we see him go to where it's just like, there's always going to be someone better than you with Master Oshi to uh, learning that not everyone is as evil as they are, AKA Piccolo and TN. And, um, and he learns how to, you know, do the mind training with Mr. Popo and all this stuff. And then we get to GT, but we don't talk about GT because GT had some good ideas, very flawed execution. And then we get to Super, where apparently everything that he learned previously is thrown out the fucking window and it's just like, I'm gonna fight. And I know yeah. that a lot of people say that that is a Kira Toriyama's original thing, because yes, they changed him a lot from the manga to the anime, both the original Japanese sub and the dub and the 3000 remakes that we've had. But like, Goku wasn't that naive when he came to, you know what I mean? When it came to that, mm -hmm. what he, he flat out admits in the manga several times that he just wants to fight strong people. But he's also just like, but I'm not going to put people in the crosshair. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, that really bothers me that Super made him incredibly stupid. Do he hit yeah. he he tournament of world destruction or whatever the fuck <laughs> there's a there's an episode there's a couple episodes in super where goku takes a hit out on himself with hit ironically yeah yeah that's how hit ends up fighting him right yeah for realsies because the other one was during the universe six tournament when goku's just like hey i'm gonna take super saiyan blue and then i'm gonna put, throw kyle ken on it and hope that my body doesn't explode which i will say was cool and i'm glad to see kyle ken's back but man, and, and that does that. Don't even get me started though on the transformations when it comes to Super because man, those were. I'm gonna go even bluer than blue. Oh my god, there you go. Or do you want me to take this one? Take first. All right, let me eat. And I start production on another. All right. I was like, let me eat, I'm, I don't want to start dying because I'm hungry in game. And like, my one of my biggest complaints is, it's just like the entire time we see Goku grow up and realize that, you know, stop being so centered. And that was kind of like the point of what I feel Z was to an extent is him kind of becoming more human in a way. I know Vegeta did it better, but like Goku still did it just as much as Vegeta did. To an extent, I'm not saying it was perfect because I mean, it wasn't, but like my, it really bothers me when super completely plays up his naivety and is stupid. And it's just like, this man has two kids and you're telling me he's never kissed his wife before. Yeah. I don't think Chi Chi would allow that. Yeah. No, literally. And people are just like, oh, well he didn't know what marriage was. I was like, yeah, 
I'm sure that when he's 50, he probably knows what marriage is at this time. Yeah. Oh, nine-year-old fucking Goku didn't know what marriage was. I, I like how people people do like to like try to act like that scene was when he was really old. He was, I think, 11, okay? And at that point, he'd been by himself since he was probably three, four. Because, I mean, Go Grandpa Gohan trained him. Yeah, when does Grandpa Gohan die? I think he was probably six or seven, if that. Yeah, so. And at that point, Grandpa Gohan didn't teach him to read, didn't teach him to write, do math. Like, he taught him how to live on his own and then fight. And it was Master Roshi that taught him to read, taught him to write, taught him math. <laughs> I'm not he straight didn't understand what women are. Yeah. Because Bulma tries to be a bit of a little slut. At 16, mind you. And <laughs> she's just like, I'll let you peek. And he's like, why would I want to see your ball? It's like, I love old, I love uh, Dragon Ball Goku walking up to people <laughs> and hiding them on their crotch. And it's just like, oh, you're a girl. <laughs> and it's like, but like yes, Goku. That, like... But it is a, it's a clear indication of, like, how much he had to learn. Also, I'm going to give you half of my arrows. Alright, I have six. There you go. There's 33. So, would, how many can we make and we'll split, uh... Uh, we could make, like, 30. I'm not going to do that. Or we could make, like... 30 stacks. <laughs> oh my god. Is that an explosive barrel? Yeah. Can we explode that? Uh, well, let's check the... He's level 40? Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, we have 13,000. Do you want any of those guys? I don't know. Uh, let me look. Buy contraband and... Let's see. Oh, they just sell you. Yeah, he sells you a lot rarer shit for very expensive. I mean, I don't necessarily want anyone at the moment. If you want someone, though. Um... I've never had this guy. But I don't need him. Yeah, I don't, I don't need any of these guys. So we can go back to Bush. Alright. Alright. Going boss battle. Alright, let's, let's go. go. Let's do this. I love how pretty it is. shot can you still capture them at all or no i've never tried to attempt to capture a boss i, I get hit look at my shield finally <laughs> oh god oh that was a swing and a miss oh, i'm fucking garbage I'm really bad aim. Holy hell. I know I'm usually not this bad, but... No, my fox fire! Oh, he was stunned. Oh god. Hey, you got behind that pillar just in I did. I've learned. 
I remember when I tried this at level 10, I just got my ass whooped. <laughs> but I also have learned the controls a little bit better since then. Ooh, I created noise. Yeah, just aim for the head and look for it every time. Oh, I missed. He's coming to beat your ass. He is. Oh my lordy, there goes my shield. I'm down to 20 arrows. I also missed quite a few of yeah. mine. It's about the same for me. Oh, so I'm gonna miss. Doesn't help that I have, like, host advantage and I still miss so many fucking shots. <laughs> I don't have an excuse, I'm just bad. <laughs> hey, we did it! Whoop, whoop, whoop. You did. That wasn't so bad. Nah. And then... Oosh. Fucking put a, a wooden chest. Right, right here. That way, anything we get from grazing now goes just into that box. Good idea. And it is the it is the closest box, so even the free-for-all normally gets it brought to this box. <laughs> As then once that fills up, we can... We can empty it. I mean... Oh my! It shouldn't... Have a look at the stone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm ending it here for now. So, boy, boy.